you must be very lucky to have something like this which is a, a cooking stove right and I have a cylinder right here so I connect I fire it and then my food is done but then unlike others um, they wouldn't have this opportunity to own a stove in their houses Welcome to Kia Coast. Hey beautiful people, how are you guys doing? My name is Eko Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, please subscribe. And if you've been watching it for some time now, kindly subscribe on my YouTube channel. Just click on it and then we go. Alright, so hey, today I want to tell you something about our way of life in Ghana especially in the rural communities here when we don't say rural communities we might say village yes so when you're talking to somebody and you say i am from the village then there's a perception that you don't have most of the things you find in the cities but mind you certain places are beautiful they have all these things but we will still call them a village because of where they are located or the number of people who are in that area so my first video showed you me trying to cook even though i don't know how to cook but i have a stove and i have a gas so anytime i want to cook it will be very easy or when i call sisters to come and cook for me they'll feel cool to cook because they have the cylinder and then the stove they just light it and they are good to go so when it comes to the rural communities most of the kitchen are outside and the kitchens are made of bamboo and then sticks just to you know keep the place cool and comfortable and serene to cook all right so when you enter such a kitchen there are certain things you would find the normal spoon the utensils and everything but there are other devices that helps us to cook in my home i have a stove and a cylinder but in a rural community when you enter the kitchen you wouldn't find that so what they do is that they mold a stove they use clay and water in my language we call that muchia muchia so i'll be using the word muchia to describe what i'm talking about so the muchia is rectangular like this and this is what they use in kitchen so today i want to show you how they make muchia in a rural community in place of the cylinder stove and then gas so when they make that muchia then they fetch um firewood from around either they go to their farms or they go to a neighbor's farm or they go to a place where they can get firewood they put it in light it and then put the uh, utensils and everything on it so let's go and then watch how a friend of mine she's in my village molded muchia <laughs> Welcome to Cape Coast. Muchian was here. Okay, Abbas and Abbas and the Kitab Bumay is in which you are. Let's Okay, I'm fresh and come with you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 